Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right into today's poster. I want us to know how to recreate a class photo and gave this as an example. So what we want to do is make our own template first before you bring in photos. So I kind of copied this and I made my own template right here. And this way I have the name of the school and I have all the little dots here ready to go. How did I create the size of these squares? Basically I used the grid. So if you go to view to grid and I'm going to zoom in, you'll see that all these rectangles are spaced out equally and evenly from the edges and from each other. How do we create that? Well, basically I made a rectangle, a five by seven rectangle. This is, these are the separate photos on the side here. I'm gonna bring one in and there's a photo of a five by seven. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that into my file now I'm going to turn off the layer with all the rectangles, leaving us just this one. Now, how did we set the grid up? I went over here to edit preferences and guides and grids. After trying it at different sizes, I made the grid every 14 inches. Why 14 inches? Because the actual size of the file is huge. It's 300 by 400 inches tall. So that's what we created. If your computer can handle it 300 by 400, then that'll be great. And what I did was I took this photo and I measured it out and it really wasn't that size but that was the aspect ratio was three by four and that's how we came up with 300 by 400. In your case if your computer is not a strong computer then try 200 by 300 or a little bit smaller. So now once we have these in place and we go over here to view grid and we go snap to grid and now we can snap to every grid. Now if I hold alt I make a copy if I hold Alt and hit the left, I make another copy. And it's really that easy to make yourself a grid. If it pops off the grid, you just move it right back on. It'll pop right into the right side of the grid. And that's how we created this template for this particular grid. So now we can introduce all of our photos into the project. So you want to make sure that you bring photos that are all the same size. But what if they're not the same size? In this case, this one is like two inches by two and a half inches. Then what you do is you bring in a separate template. In my case, I did a five by seven uh, rectangle. So it's five inches wide by seven inches high. I'm going to grab the photo. I'm going to drag it into that template. I'll let go and you see it's really small. So I'm going to bring it to the top and drag it all the way down to the bottom. So it's going to enlarge the photo. So now you see it's over to the right a little bit. I can hold shift and the left mouse button to center her there. And then I can just take the cropping tool and crop that picture to an exact five by seven. Then I would go ahead and file save as and save it here on the computer. So that's how to make all your photos if they come from different sources into one size. Now in our particular case, since we already resized all the photos, all these will be five by seven. So I'm gonna grab all these photos and introduce them into elements. How do we do that? We're gonna click the last photo, shift click the first photo that basically selects all of them and then drag them all into elements and you'll see right here they're opening up one through ten so basically you want to come back to your first photo and then use the grabbing tool you want to left click grab that photo and drag it into the current project come back down let go and there's your first photo and look at that it's the exact same size as it's supposed to be all you got to do is come over here and it'll snap right into place go ahead and close that file out and go to the second one Grab that one with the left mouse button, come into your project, let go, and it'll pop into place. And you just keep on doing that till you have all your photos in. And it's that easy. You put them right into place and they'll snap right into the grid as long as your snap to grid here is chosen. So once you do that, you just keep on bringing in your photos and fill them all out. In my particular case, I'm going to grab all of those and alt click to copy them. And this is just for viewing purposes. So we can pretend that all the photos are in there and that they're snapped into place. So up here, as you can see, that the offset is a little bit off, and that was purposely done so that we can space 
the, the uh, fewer photos up here. So all you have to do is place them in where they do snap and then grab those photos. And then holding the shift down, I can go left a little bit at a time until it's in the center in between two of the grid boxes. And it's that easy. Now with the names, I can go ahead and even turn off the grid. So I'm going to say grid off and now you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> I can take the names and copy those names to every single line using the shift, the alt click. Once I have the names, I can rename these. Let's say this one was that name. All I got to do is come back, respace that, come over here, respace that one and the rest of them fall into place. And once again, it's that easy. And of course we can make that into a new title. And there we go. I'll turn off the layer with the red rectangles and you can see it's nice and clear. If you really want, you can add frames to these. You can right click, edit layer style, stroke. Let's do a white stroke like that. Make sure that this is set to outside. And I can make this a little bit smaller, like a 25 point. And there we go. If we like that, we can do it to all of these. Or change the border. Back when you resize the photos, when you do the 5 by 7 frame here, you can import a different frame and save it, including the frame. And it's that easy. Well, this is Rich for this tutorial. Colony quits saying, over and out.